Welcome to a journey of resilience and wisdom with our 10 Stoic lessons to handle disrespect. Disrespect is a painful part of life that everyone encounters at some point. When you face rude, demeaning, or contemptuous words or actions from others, you quickly become upset and angry or react unskillfully. Stoicism offers timeless strategies, not just to manage, but to thrive. Marcus Aurelius once said you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. This video reveals 10 powerful Stoic principles, each a stepping stone to mastering your reactions from keeping calm to changing your perspective. These lessons are more than advice. They're ways to transform challenges into victories. Join us as we explore these ancient but relevant teachings for modern days and empower yourself to guide life's hard times with grace and dignity. One, keep your calm. If someone throws a rude comment your way, your first impulse might be to react with anger or hurt. But here's a stoic game changer. It's not the comment that scares you, but how you interpret it. This is where keep your calm comes in, a gem from stoic wisdom. Think of it like this. Disrespect is like a wild wave. You can't stop it, but can choose to surf it gracefully. The Stoics teach us that the power lies in our perspective. When disrespect comes knocking, show yourself as a wise, unshakable tree. The winds of rudeness blow, but you stand firm, not because the wind doesn't exist, but because you know it can't uproot you. Why? Because you understand that the actual harm isn't in the words thrown at you, but in how you let them settle in your mind. By keeping your calm, you're not just avoiding a storm of emotions, but embracing a superpower. It's about seeing disrespect, not as a personal attack, but as a test of your inner strength. So, the next time you're faced with disrespect, remember to keep your calm and you keep your power. Two, reflect on yourself. When someone disrespects you, it's like a splash of cold water on your face. Your instinct might be to splash back, but wait, there's a stoic twist. Turn inward and hold up a mirror to your thoughts and reactions. This is the essence of reflect on yourself. Suppose you're a detective in your mind. Each time disrespect comes your way, grab your magnifying glass, ask yourself, is there a kernel of truth in their words? Did I play a part in this scenario? How can I respond in a way that aligns with my deepest values? This isn't about taking blame, but taking charge of your growth. Reflection is like having an honest chat with yourself. It's not about beating yourself up. It's about understanding your role in the dance of interaction. By doing this, you're not just reacting, but learning and evolving. You're turning the stones of disrespect into stepping stones for personal development. So the next time you're on the receiving end of disrespect, pause and reflect. It's your secret tool for turning a moment of conflict into a stepping stone for self-improvement. Reflect on yourself and watch your wisdom grow. Three, have empathy. If you're on the receiving end of a harsh word or a cold shoulder, it's easy to build walls, but stoicism invites you to create a bridge instead using the tool of empathy. Having empathy is about seeing the world through someone else's lens. Empathy helps know the situation from a different angle reducing negative feelings and promoting respectful responses. Empathy is like wearing glasses that let you see the world from another person's viewpoint. When someone disrespects you, instead of immediately building a stronghold of defense, try to understand where they're coming from. Maybe they're lashing out because of their own struggles, fears, or insecurities. It's not about excusing their behavior, but understanding it. This stoic approach is like being an emotional archeologist you dig beneath the surface of harsh words or actions to uncover the hidden layers of human emotions. By doing this, you're not just avoiding conflict, but cultivating compassion and connection. So, the next time you face disrespect, remember to slip on those empathy glasses. It's a way to transform a moment of tension into an opportunity for deeper understanding and connection. Empathy is your bridge over troubled waters, leading to a place of mutual respect and understanding. 4. Learn to pause. If anyone's words or actions sting you like a bee, your heart races may be ready to launch a counterattack. But here's where stoicism throws a twist. Hit the pause button. This is the art of learn to pause. Think of it as your emotional emergency break. 
In the heat of the moment, when disrespect hits, your emotions are like a speeding car. By pausing, you're not slamming to a stop. You're taking control, steering away from the cliff of impulsive reactions. Pausing is like giving yourself a moment of silent counsel. In that brief hiatus, you're not just stopping your words or actions, but consulting your inner sage. Ask yourself, will my immediate reaction serve me well? Is there a wiser, more composed response? This pause is your secret weapon. It transforms a potential emotional eruption into a moment of clarity and wisdom. So, the next time you're tempted to react in the spur of the moment, remember the power of the pause. It's your time out for wisdom, turning a reactive moment into a reflective one. Pause, ponder, and then proceed with power. 5. Concentrate on virtue. When faced with disrespect, it's tempting to react in kind. But Stoicism offers a different path. Concentrate on virtue. This means showing your actions by the stars of your highest qualities, like integrity, courage, and wisdom. Look at virtue as your moral compass. In the stormy seas of disrespect, losing direction, and reacting negatively is easy. Concentrating on virtue is like consulting your compass, ensuring you stay on course with your true self, no matter how rough the waves get. This stoic principle isn't about being inactive. It's about choosing actions that reflect your best self. It's asking, what would the smartest, most courageous version of me do right now? This approach turns every instance of disrespect into an opportunity to strengthen your character. So, the next time you're seduced to retaliate or fall into negativity, remember to concentrate on virtue. It's your guide to responding not just effectively, but also nobly. By focusing on virtue, you transform challenges into chances to showcase the strength of your character. It's not just about what you do, but who you choose to be in the face of adversity. 6. Embrace acceptance. Suppose confronted with disrespect, our instinct often screams for change or retaliation. However, Stoicism offers a peaceful alternative. Embrace acceptance. This isn't about surrendering or showing weakness, but recognizing and making peace with things beyond our control. Visualize you're in a garden. Some plants are wilting despite your best efforts. Stoic acceptance is like understanding that some elements, like the weather, are out of your hands. You do your best, and then you let nature take its course. Similarly, when people disrespect you, it's often a reflection of their own issues, out of your sphere of influence. Embracing acceptance is like setting down a heavy load. It frees you from the weight of trying to control the uncontrollable. It's acknowledging, this is how things are, not how I wished they were. This shift in perspective brings a sense of calm and reduces frustration and resentment. So, when you next encounter disrespect, try to embrace acceptance. It's a powerful stoic tool that helps you maintain your composure and focus on what you can change, your reactions, mindset, and actions. Acceptance is the key to unlocking a more peaceful, resilient state. 7. Use humor. When disrespect comes your way, it's like a dark cloud looming overhead. Stoicism, however, gives you an unexpected umbrella of humor. Using humor is about finding a lighthearted perspective in tense situations, not to criticize them but rising above them. Imagine humor as your secret superpower. It doesn't mean you're not taking things seriously. Rather, you're choosing to face them with a smile instead of a scowl. When someone throws an insult your way, responding with a witty, lighthearted comment can disarm the tension. It's like dodging a punch with a dance move instead of a block. Using humor is like adding a spoonful of sugar to life's bitter moments. It helps to balance your emotions, preventing you from getting overwhelmed by negativity. A playful joke or a clever quip can transform a potentially explosive situation into a moment of shared laughter or a lighter atmosphere. So, the next time you're faced with disrespect, remember the stoic way. Sprinkle a little humor. It's not about ignoring the seriousness of the situation, but about handling it with a grace that includes a chuckle. Humor is your shield and sword, helping you navigate life's challenges with a smile. 8. Set clear boundaries. In the face of disrespect, Stoicism teaches a vital lesson. 
Set clear boundaries. This isn't about building walls around yourself. It's about drawing lines in the sand that protect your peace and dignity. Suppose you're a captain of a ship, as you wouldn't allow pirates to board and take over. Setting boundaries means not letting others' disrespect steer your emotional state. It's about calmly but firmly asserting your limits, conveying what is and isn't acceptable in how others treat you. Setting boundaries is like planting a flag of self-respect. It's a declaration that while you can't control others' actions, you can dictate how they affect you. It's telling the world, here I stand with respect for myself and expectations of the same from you. This stoic practice isn't about confrontation, but clarity and self-care. It's a respectful way to communicate your needs and expectations, ensuring that your interactions with others are healthy and mutually respectful. When confronted with disrespect, remember to set clear boundaries. It's your way of honoring your worth and maintaining your tranquility. Boundaries are not barriers. They are the guidelines that keep you true to yourself in the chaos of human interaction. 9. Choose forgiveness. Choicism teaches a powerful response to disrespect. Choose forgiveness. This isn't about letting someone off the hook. It's about freeing yourself from resentment and anger. Take forgiveness as a key. When someone disrespects you, it's like they've locked you in a room of negativity. Forgiveness is the key that unlocks this door, not to excuse their behavior, but to release yourself from the burden of bitterness. Choosing forgiveness is like choosing to heal rather than to hurt. It's understanding that holding on to anger is like grasping a hot coal with the intent of throwing it at someone else. You are the one who gets burned. Forgiveness cools the coal. It's a decision to let go of the desire for revenge or hold a grudge and move forward with peace instead. This stoic approach is a form of self-compassion. It's recognizing that everyone, including you, deserves peace of mind. Forgiveness is a gift you give yourself, a step towards emotional freedom. So when faced with disrespect, choose the stoic way. I choose forgiveness. It's not a sign of weakness, but of strength. It's not giving in, but rising above. Forgiveness is the choice that leads to inner peace and personal empowerment. 10. Change your perspective. Stoicism offers a transformative tool in the face of disrespect. Change your perspective. This isn't about ignoring reality, but shifting your viewpoint to see a broader picture. Visualize your perspective as a camera lens. When disrespected, it's like zooming in on a negative detail. Changing your mindset is like zooming out to see the entire landscape. It helps you realize that this moment of disrespect is just a small part of a much larger picture. This shift is like standing atop a mountain, looking down at the winding paths below. From this vantage point, what seemed like a huge obstacle was just a tiny blip on the journey. It's understanding that disrespect is quick and often more about the other person's struggles than you. Changing your perspective is a way to separate from the heat of the moment. It allows you to respond with wisdom rather than emotion, recognizing that this moment will pass and does not define you or your worth. When confronted with disrespect, remember the stoic advice, change your perspective. It's a powerful way to rise above the situation, maintaining your peace and composure. This new viewpoint isn't just about seeing things differently. It's about seeing them more clearly and calmly. As we conclude our exploration of stoic wisdom, Remember that the power to handle disrespect gracefully lies within you. These 10 lessons are not just strategies, but invitations to a life of composure, strength, and inner peace. Embrace them and watch as they transform, not just moments of disrespect, but your entire approach to life's challenges. Stay strong, stay positive.